Hello ladies and gentlemen in this video we are going to cover the current affairs of 8th of April The chief minister of which Indian state has been conferred with the Hero to Animals award by the Animal Rights Body PETA India right answer is Odisha that means Mr Navin Patnaik has been conferred Hero to Animals award by PETA India PETA stands for people for ethical treatment of animals odisha was also in news because of mission shakti and this is an initiative of odisha for women self help group that means women shg odisha was also in news because of mo sarkar initiative and this initiative is for the effective implementation of various schemes meant for the empowerment of farmers so this is for farmers and this mission shakti is for women shg that is self help group odisha was also in news because of jal sathi initiative and the objective of this initiative is to ensure safe drinking water to all households apart from that odisha was also in news because of mission purvodaya and the objective of this initiative is to make odisha a steel hub of india and for this india and japan are going to work together Aero Biosis Innovations which has developed an affordable and emergency use ventilator called Jeevan Light is an incubated startup of which institution so right answer is IIT Hyderabad so this is an incubated startup of IIT Hyderabad and it has recently developed emergency use ventilator Jeevan Light this ventilator can be operated by a battery and therefore it can be deployed in the areas now apart from that recently indian railways has developed a low cost ventilator g1 and this was developed at kapoorthala rail coach factory now this prototype is awaiting the clearance of icmr icmr stands for indian council for medical research and this icmr is under ministry of health and family welfare present minister is dr harshwardhan the research center of which organization have developed full body disinfection chamber called pse that is personal sanitization enclosure right answer is drdo so one of the laboratories of drdo has designed this full body disinfection chamber and it is called as pse that is personal sanitization enclosure and this has been developed by v R D E. Now, what is V R D E? It is Weaker Research Development Establishment, and it is a laboratory of D R D O. And this laboratory is situated in Ahmednagar. So, this enclosure is a walk-through setup. That means it is a portable system, and it is designed for personal sanitization. It is equipped with sanitizer and soap dispenser, and every twenty-five seconds, this electrically operated equipment. create a mist of hyposodium chloride now if we talk about drdo it is defense research and development organization and drdo is under defense ministry recently defense ministry was in news as a new department was created in defense ministry and the name of this department is dma that is department of military affairs dma is headed by cds that is chief of defense staff first chief of defense staff is general Bipin Rawat and the CDS is part of DAC. DAC stands for Defence Acquisition Council. After the recent curbs on export of diagnostic kits by the Indian government, an exporter will have to get license from which authority for outbound shipments? Right answer is DGFT. So recently, government of India put limitations on export of diagnostic kits and as per the notification by dgft an exporter will have to get license from dgft for shipments which were allowed without restrictions earlier that means the shipments which were allowed previously for them now the exporter will have to take license from dgft now dgft is directorate general of foreign trade present commerce minister is mr piyush goel recently he was in news as he led 
Indian delegation for the World Economic Forum event in Davos. Now, World Economic Forum released Gender Gap Index. As per that index, India is on 11 second position. According to recent announcement of Health Ministry, about 50 crore citizens will be eligible for free COVID-19 testing and treatment under which scheme? So, COVID-19 is the name of disease caused by coronavirus, and approximately 50 crore citizens will be eligible for the free treatment and for free testing under Jan Arogya Yojana. Now, if we talk about this COVID-19, recently Pune-based My Lab became the first Indian organization to develop a test kit for COVID-19, and this My Lab Discovery Solutions is a Pune-based organization. Pune is in Maharashtra, and recently Maharashtra was in news as it won highest number of medals as per Khelo India Youth Games. So these games held in Assam. Apart from that, recently Khelo India University Games held in Odisha. So the first edition of Khelo India University Games held in Odisha, and in these games, Punjab University of Chandigarh won the highest number of medals. Recently, to prevent the transmission of coronavirus, Prime Minister announced 21 days lockdown, and to restore normalcy after lockdown, PMO, that is Prime Minister, was constituted a committee, and this committee will be headed by Mr. P. K. Mishra. Bronx Zoo, where a tiger was tested positive for this COVID-19 for the first time in the world, is located in which country? So it is a zoo in New York in USA, and the name of this tiger is Nadia. It is a female tiger. Now USA was also in news as recently World Games, which was supposed to be held in 2021, were postponed to 2022. why they were postponed because in 2021 now tokyo olympics are going to be there and that is why these world games have been postponed these world games are going to be in usa in birmingham there is one more birmingham that is in england and in that birmingham commonwealth games are going to be organized in 2022 and two events of that commonwealth games are going to be in india in chandigarh Answer in comment box. What are those two events which are going to be organized in our country? Now coming back to USA. USA was also in news because of a deal with Taliban. Taliban is a militant group of Afghanistan, and this deal was signed in Doha. Doha is the capital of Qatar. Afghanistan was also in news as recently Mr. Ashraf Ghani got re-elected as the president of Afghanistan. Afghanistan was also in news as recently it became the first country indian pharmacopia now what is this pharmacopia it simply means the pharma book now usa was also in news because of daniel pearl daniel pearl was an american journalist who was killed in karachi in 2002 which country through its aid agency has announced a grant of 2.9 million dollars to india to help it tackle the effect of coronavirus pandemic sir is usa so us aid of usa has announced a grant of 2.9 million us dollars to india to tackle the effect of covid-19 and this assistance was announced by us ambassador to india kent jester on the other hand india's ambassador to usa is mr taranjit singh sandhu previous india's ambassador to usa was mr harshvardhan sringla now he has been appointed as the foreign secretary of india while mr taranjit singh sandhu india's high commissioner to sri lanka now india's high commissioner to sri lanka was mr gopal wagle mr gopal bagle for the first time in 2020 april 5 is observed as which day by united nations right answer is international day of conscience so this is first time and it is to be observed on 5th of april and it was sponsored by the prime minister of bahrain and the headquarter of gulf cooperation council is in riyadh in saudi arabia recently saudi arabia was in news as it is the president of g20 for this year 
Saudi Arabia was also in news as recently it became a full-fledged member of FATF. FATF stands for Financial Action Task Force and FATF was founded in 1989 and it is an initiative of G7. The International Maritime Day is celebrated on 5th of April to commemorate the maiden voyage of which ship which was totally owned by India. Right answer is SS Loyalty. So the National Maritime Day is celebrated on 5th of April to commemorate the maiden voyage of first completely owned ship of Indians and this ship was owned by Sindhya Steam Navigation Company. It is important to note that the World Maritime Day is observed on the last week of September on Thursday. Where is the headquarters of International Maritime Organization? Kobe Bryant along with eight others was selected to the Naismith Memorial Basketball Hall of Fame. The museum come Hall of Fame is located in which country? Right answer is US. So this museum is in USA and Mr. Kobe Bryant was in news as he died away recently in a helicopter crash and he was associated to basketball. Answer in comment books. What is the name of his professional team with which he used to play? So these were the important questions of today's quiz. Thank you and that's all for the day.